All right, hello, welcome to episode 9 of Eganhart's Escapades into the Radius. It is currently 1717 of no, ni, 102180, whatever that means. I'm sure a pattern will be shown sometime in the future. We have this last in and out option, every other mission goes way- Oh, my hand works again. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, every other mission is somewhere up here, so we're gonna do this in and out one here, which is just find another neon. Hopefully it works this time, and it doesn't clip through the ground and just disappear into the ether. Anyway. Okay, uh, so I'll go ahead and accept that. This will be our first pseudo-night mission if it takes a long time. I figure it hasn't been too rough, but I have been coming back every night to sleep until the morning. Because, you know, it only makes sense not going out at night when there's otherworldly things there. I keep expecting this laser to be green for some reason. I don't know. I just like the green lasers more, I suppose. Okay, so yeah, we'll get this last mission in and then we'll sleep until morning. There is currently one day and 41 minutes until the next tide, so it is at 6 o'clock tomorrow. So we have the morning to do stuff if we want to, if there's a mission that will be good enough now. Alright. Let's see here. So it's just right up in there. Just over and up. Through the... Through the cleft there, and just on the other side that way. So I'm going to assume that there are going to be new enemies there, or rifts or something that there aren't usually. I'm yeah, pretty sure it's just right there. Yeah, probably in that cluster. Yep, and there's the tick tick. right there, huh? Yeah, because that's the bit of road that's showing up. Okay, so there's no way through there. We can't get over there, I don't think. There? Around? That's covered. Beautiful. Look at that. Wonderful job. Excellently done. There's another one. Was that not? That was a gun, yeah. Is there another thing? Yeah. 
beautiful. Got two artifacts. And it is 6.43, so time to go home. Excellently done. No problems there. None at all. Booted everything around here. So I'm pretty sure we're safe. Nothing else to do here. Time to go home. That wasn't even a night mission. Look at that. It's still beautifully dusk. Yeah, look at the way that gravity is distorted around those anomalies. Really interesting. I say as I walk past, like, floating pieces of rock. Like, what is this ashen stuff that's coming out of the sky, too? Should I be concerned about cancer in my lungs long term? Okay, I probably don't have a long term to be concerned about, let's be real. Okay, so we're good. Safety back on. These are off. Home, James. Weapon condition wors worsens when you shoot. Good to know. So that's why it steadily ticks down. Yeah, I didn't use it that time, did I? Oh, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Whatever it is. <clears throat> okay, so I turn in... Eternal Linnea. Okay. You see anything different? Nope. Exact same thing as before. It looks like a small sci fi planet. Reminds me of the days. What days does it remind you of? 400. Do I have anything to repair? Pretty sure I'm good, yeah. Didn't actually do anything then. Alright, go back home. I have a bit of fatigue. Time to sleep for sure. It's getting dark out. But we'll wake up at 7 and we'll keep doing missions. Oh, look at that. I've completed two sculptures. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm quite proud of it, personally. Okay, missions. What was that replaced with? Papers drive me crazy. Three? That was there before. Is there another... Okay, it looks like these missions are actually depleting. I thought it was just going to go forever. Re redoing the specific, like, metastases number or operation cleanup number. But apparently they refresh with the tide, I suppose. Like I said, last time I'm definitely gonna go into Balatki Village or Pobeda Factory next time. Once the tide is gone. Yeah, six o'clock tomorrow. I might just sleep until then. I'll be a bit hungry, but I can always take care of that in the shower. I suppose eating in a post-apocalyptic scenario is a luxury. But yeah, it looks like that wasn't replaced by anything, it just decreased it. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. And don't forget to be awesome. <laughs> Good morning! Hello, nice to see you. I hope you didn't just stay here the entire night. That'd be kind of creepy. Anyway. Missions... It is currently 10 hours and 59 minutes until the tide. Let's see what we can take care of in the meat. I like these cleanups. That is way far away. This is driving me crazy. Is in the same place. As to season number one is at least closer, but that's in that building that I got shot at before. But we've basically cleared all this. Could swing by there, grab whatever's in the safe room, go there and come back. Wait, how much was that worth? 650? Yeah, that's probably our winner since I still don't want to take pictures of anything. And then Flash in the Dark will be our next 
thing once the tide is gone. So I'll go ahead and test to see. Start mission. 7 a.m. Am I hungry? I'm hungry. Let's see how expensive it'll be to just take a shower and be full. Or, you know, take a shower and and heal up. Three dollars? Oh no, no. That's fatigue, not the max. It doesn't I have to eat. Okay. Good to know. I have a food in here. Let's go ahead and finish that up. I'm not stabbing myself in the face. And then we'll open it up. And I suppose just leave it here, right? Okay, yeah, we have a lot of pork, so let's take that one. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Pineapple and pork for breakfast. Gotta love it. Hey, you're good. And I'll just take this room temperature pork with me, you know. Okay, so we're going... There, yeah, pretty sure that is the exact building that I got shot at the first time, when we first realized there were shooters as well as everything else. I'm at full ammo. Have, like, three and one, and the Healy thing a bit further down. Don't need a gas mask or anything. It looks like it's time to go. Let's do this. <coughs> Michael? Light. Light. Man, I'm great at using my hands and knees. My mission find the broken shark. Great. Let's do this. The shortest path is most likely the most dangerous. Yeah, usually. Gotten that already. I still don't know what that light is for up there. I suppose it's denoting that I've been there, but then there's nothing up there, so I don't know. You're out there. Is there a light up there? No, that's like an actual light, light. Look at those clouds, they're so pretty. See underneath there. Yeah, we haven't been here since, uh, since the last time. And still 16? Okay. That'll split up some of the wear on the magazine as well. Anyone else over here? Whoa, 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 whoa. There you are. Any wub wubs? No wub wubbing over here? Right? Well. See, I like not having a silencer here. Three shots every time. I kind of suck at this, apparently. But, getting better. What it's all about, just repetition until you master it. But yeah, not having a silencer on these things means it just draws in everything in the area, and then I can clear it out, and then I can just move on with my life. You know? Yeah. 
don't care about those. Whatever. Fine. Else? Oh, sheep. Very cool. We'll loot this real quick on the way. Doesn't appear to be anyone coming, but I mean. Not what I intended. No one in here. Hear steps, but I don't know if those are mine or not. Oh, another weather thing. Look at that. It's um seven six two by twenty five. Um nine by eighteen. Right. Whatever. What are you? Are you an F-A-18? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool, cool. And the tape, which I suppose we'll listen to on the way back. We can listen to now, actually. This is a good time to try it. UNPSC, Explorer 12, Log 8-13, Fragments. Fragments are humanoid in appearance, although it is unclear whether the material they are composed of is biological in origin. We have observed over time that the bodies of fragments have a texture reminiscent similar to rubber and of wool, and though they are not as warm as living human beings, their body temperature is higher than that of inanimate objects. This debunks a myth prevalent in the first few months after the event among the changed and even some UNPSC scientists that fragments are reanimated corpses. There is, however, a new and more dangerous myth circulating. A few explorers claim to have recognized missing colleagues among fragments and insist that, therefore, at least some fragments are from the change. One explorer reported killing a fragment that had the features of his romantic partner who had disappeared sometime prior. He subsequently received extensive counseling for PTSD, which unfortunately seemed to have been insufficient, as he eventually cut off contact with the UMPSC and other explorers and is presumed defunct. Such are the unfortunate consequences of unfounded speculation about the nature of the zone phenomenon. Other field researchers I have interviewed are in agreement with the UMPSC that fragments are not, in fact, former changed. I advise explorers to set aside any doubts on this account and defend themselves as necessary when encountering these dangerous creatures. Alright. Yeah, I didn't want to move on while that was happening. Let me just take care of my trying to draw it over. Those footsteps are the actual worst, just saying. It has a good, like, left-right surround feel to it, but nothing up and down, if you know what I mean. Like, I could hear that it was behind me, and I'm pretty sure it's down. Less so now, because I don't see anything around here. Okay. I have no idea where those footsteps were coming from then. I was expecting to have to come down here and shoot something. what it was? Is that a whole patrol? Oh wow. They have some like paths and such that they go through. Interesting. Alright, and we're getting there. What's the job? Broken chart. That's right. 952. Hello. Yeah, I'll just let it go past, honestly. There's one up there, one over there. Okay, I'm probably gonna draw that one's attention. I killed that. There doesn't appear to be any rifts or anything over here. That'll be coming at me. Alright, let's do this. I really should wait for them to be closer. I suck at shooting. Excuse me. Excuse me! No! Note to self, do not say that I suck at shooting. 
I am awesome at shooting. I am the best shot there ever has been in the entire universe. I am Pan Reborn. Hello? Don't suppose you'll just ignore me. I could probably get you from here. Yeah, this is some good cover. Oh. There's a shadow as opposed to a walker. Since they don't leave a shadow, you know? Haha, <laughs> I'm so funny. Beautiful. Look at us go. And then the shadows come in this way. There's the troll person from over there. There's a walker. Right? Cool. We've avoided the patrol person, I'm pretty sure. That's a fragment. Or a silhouette. I guess they called it a fragment. Okay, I'll kill you. There you are. You're more dangerous. No, I didn't just jump there. I don't know what you're talking about. Definitely got a little surge of adrenaline with that. God. Yeah, I could switch over. Whatever, that's faster. Ooh, hi. Hello. No. No, no, no. Thank you. I'm good. I'm just clearing things out, really. The motto saved. Yay. So now that I know what's going on, I'm just going to continue, you know? Yup, and that's that one. I remember this, we got it last time. Did it all right? Another cassette. Look at that. Not gonna play it now. Nothing up there. Ugh, Fifteen of friggin' sixty. Find completion as stupid. There we go. Like, what if something's sneaking up on me? Ooh, cigarette. Ooh, knife. Ooh, sweet. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, we'll go upstairs real quick. Excuse me, I'd like to find go around. You at homes. Oh, you're in there, aren't you? Bar. Remember you. Three every time, even when I'm right there. What is up with me? It's like it's a lucky number or something. Busted flashlight, all right. Nope. Camera? Ooh, pocket lamp, cool. I'll just fix it up. Cigarette. Nothing over there. Nothing there. 
nothing. Excuse me. Nothing. Oop. Oop. I may or may not have hit the desk. Don't mind me. Toothbrush. And a shotgun. Very nice. Come on. Force powers. Activate. Form of not hitting anything. 1221. Plenty of time. Oh, it is 6 o'clock that we need to watch out for, so we'll just hurry up here. How about... Don't care about those. Note that we'll read at home. Clearing this out, and then we'll just book it home. Because we have a bit to get there, don't we? Okay, let's go. Twelve thirty-four, and time moves quickly. It's six o'clock that we need to watch out for, so... <sighs> I can go through there. Yeah, today is Tide's Day, so we gotta be careful. We gotta get home in time before the street lights come on. Okay, and then, yeah, the rest of this episode is just going to be sorting through the inventory that we got. Cleaning up that headlamp, which I was actually thinking of buying myself. Eating, I suppose. Maybe. I might save that for tomorrow morning. <sighs> Plenty of time. Only one o'clock. Still five hours left in here. Okay. Goodbye, Katya. Oh, I like the, uh... The, like, rings that the anomaly has around it. That Katya has around it. Happiness for everybody, free, and no one will go away unsatisfied. That sounds like something. Uh, hello? Are you Katya too? Is just everything here Katya? I don't even know. Am I becoming paranoid, having delusions? Maybe. We grab the broken shard, so let's turn that in real quick. It is currently... Oh yeah, it gets more and more messed up as it goes closer to the... What is that? Okay, so there's an alternate form to the watch that I didn't know about. But the, uh, the day and everything gets much worse the closer it gets to tide... Delivery... Merry Christmas. 6.50 for me. I'll go ahead and just toss everything in here for a repair. Yeah, just everything that I used. Um, $35? Cool. I'm just topping everything off so you don't have to watch me sit around and do that myself. Actually, come to think of it, how much is... How much will you be as a yellow? Nine dollars? Yeah, let's do it. Flashlight, you have to be in there. And do you have any? You're good. This new knife that I picked up? Could use topping off. This toothbrush. <laughs> this TT33. Only 47? That's actually really cheap. To say. What else do I have down here? I have ooh, I have the other uh ape. I have some Yeah, that looks like everything. Okay, so I'll go ahead and fine. Put you away first and then I'll chunk. 
my health's still good. Did I actually not get hit by any of those? I got a few frights while I was out there, but it was still... Oh, that flashlight takes the longest by far. That's still not too bad. It's measured in seconds, you know? Oh. Can I then proceed with none? Put you... Put you... Are you not a headlamp? No, you're a pocket lamp. Here. Oh, okay. And then I can see, but it's green. That is not a good look, honestly. Why is it green? What does it have to be green? Oh, it doesn't actually show anything. I guess the regular flashlight doesn't either when it's on versus off. So do I want to keep the pocket lamp out? Because that would free up a hand while I'm moving about. It's a bit creepy, but I think I can deal with that. Okay, three. Knife. Home. Oh. James. Do I want anything else? Do I want to pick up some armor, do you think? I can't pick up some armor. I lied. Alright, but yeah, we turned in the broken shard, so we're good there. Turning off the pocket lamp. Got another one of these. Balak, you're an idiot. A chronic one. What was it yesterday? As if it was your first shift after vocational school. Our boss says you're not getting a bonus this month. How do you plan on paying for the fishing trip? Anyway, call me. I have an idea. Semyon. I need to sort these eventually. At least these are all just the tips ones that I could probably just shove in one of those places. Okay, two cigarettes. Cigarette? That's a cigarette. Can't fool. Of course, now that one is wildly out of place. UMPSC Explorer 12, Log 13-2, Night Eyes. Night Eyes are called as such because of their distinct appearance resembling a glass eyeball. Night Eyes give you something similar to night vision. Be careful though, side effects could include sustained retinal damage if you accidentally find yourself under strong lighting while using a night eye. You won't go blind instantly, but an explorer researcher I knew found this out the hard way. He decided to activate the artifact on base under the bright lights of our laboratory. That was the end of his research career, at least in that particular incarnation. We don't exactly have opticians around here, and the damage was so extensive even regens proved useless. This researcher thought that maybe the pain meant he was getting x-ray vision. I don't know what happened to him after he voluntarily left our base, ashamed of his helplessness. I doubt he lasted long. Okay, alright, so don't use the artifact Night Eye except at night. Good to know. Fine, that'll work. What else do I have a sweet... Ah, my sweet empire. I'll stock them up, I'll sell them. I'll become rich, rich and famous on the backs of the sweet harvesters. That one. Then this lighter. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Another project weapon. TT-33. We have one of those already. So we have two TT-33s, three TT-33s, and three PMs? Yeah. And then three shotguns, because that one's still... Fine. I'll eat some of a frickin' pork. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, I hate it. There are rules about that, though. You can eat a lot of things that you're normally not allowed to in a survival situation. Taking that into account. I just need one. Good enough. You know what? No. I'm gonna keep my knives over here. 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 
here. Good enough. You know what? I have an idea. Oh, those two were back there. I was like, why did I put just one thing back? Oh. That. Is Is there anything else in here? No, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Okay. Oh, oh. Sorry about that. I'll have to edit that out. I definitely just hit the microphone on the desk. Bad. And another bullet just disappears into the ether. I'll find it eventually. Proving that it is in fact better to pick things up with the force instead of your hand. Being very careful not to hit the... Yeah, being very careful not to hit the microphone that's on the desk. Alright, I still don't have a box for those armor piercing ones. Okay, so here's my plan. There. You, take you, take you. Ooh, not you. You're glorious. I love you. You're beautiful. You. And we're all going up to the magic box of magicalness. It's only 123, but it is Tide's Day, so I'm gonna sleep at the end. Put item in cell to scan it, and just circling around because my cord got in the way. You know how it is. That's old fashioned at this point. 133? I'll pay that. This is significantly less time consuming than shuka 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 in everything. For individual ones like this one, if it's not just topping it off, yeah, I could see doing that. Wait, let's go, my precious little wastes of resources. Intended. Okay, that works. Yeah, no, there's a bullet in the chamber. It and everything. There is no safety up. Literally just leaving it loaded in the middle of everything. They've done a really good job of modeling everything, I have to say. Look at all. And these two PM magazines, which are empty. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Proving it's worth already. There is no difference between a loaded weapon and an unloaded weapon. Look at that. Which one of those is loaded? Do you know? Because I don't. Safety tips with Egan Hart. <laughs> Alright, we got everything. Good on that, good on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep until morning at this point. Oh, those are play tapes. So let's see, can I track to you? Oh, it just disappears after I put it in there. 
because I can look at that, and those are the fragments. Okay. Uh, so, thank you for joining me for Egan Hart's Escapades, Episode 9, Into the Radius. Eh, I did that incorrectly, but who cares? We're doing it live. Hope to see you next time. As they say in my hometown, don't forget to be awesome. <laughs>